Hello, it's Mrs. Hernandez again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a corn maize. In Latin America, they call corn maize, so we could actually say that this is a maize maize. Get it? Anyhow. So, for this, you are going to need a box or a shoebox. I actually use the lid of a shoebox. See? Naturalizer. Okay. And then all I did was I used construction paper to cover the lid. But honestly, you don't have to do that. I just want mine to look as much like a corn maze as possible. Um, so I'm going to give you some different ways that you can do this. Um, you were provided with construction paper and a marble. And there's my marble. You should have your own scissors. You'll need some glue. You could also actually use a piece of old box, cardboard, cut up, whatever's easiest. Um, I actually did a few things to prep for this. One, I drew out my maze with a pencil. Draw very lightly, that way if you mess up, see, if you mess up, it will leave a ghost line, and you don't want that to happen. Um, you you want to write very lightly. So I pre-drew out my maze first, and I cut little doors where I can put the marble in and where the marble will go out. Okay? So I'm going to show you a couple different ways. One, you could cut little pieces of cardboard and just use your glue stick. If you wait a few minutes, you put the glue on and wait a few minutes, um, this will stand up without anything holding it. So I just used the glue, I rubbed it on one edge, and I let it sit for a minute, and it gets really super sticky, and then I just stuck it right in there. Um, another way you can do this is take strips. If you don't have cardboard, you can take strips of construction paper. Mine are about an inch and a half and I folded it in half, and then I just bent a little lip up so that you can apply glue underneath here. So let me show you what it looks like. It looks like this. And then you could also, and they stand by themselves, so you could do it either way. You could also use a straw if you would rather just cut pieces of straw and glue those down. Now, the idea of STEM is that you will come up with your own idea. So if you come up with something else that would make a good corn um, maze, you do that. But the basis is you'll need a marble, you'll need like a lid to a shoebox, and construction paper. I also use the construction paper to make little corn, little corn pieces, little corn pieces, and um, a scarecrow to decorate. So hang on, let's see if I can bring my scarecrow in. There he is. I double-sided him. So no matter what side you were you see, he it's the same little skeleton or little skeleton scarecrow on both sides. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is everywhere there are lines, I'm gonna cut pieces of cardboard. So I have my scissors and I'm just gonna measure. And cut. If you're using cardboard, you may need a stronger pair of scissors, so ask a parent to help. If you are using um, construction paper, you can use your regular school scissors. So let me show you that whole method. So once you have a few pieces standing, then obviously, actually that's kind of a smooth edge. I like applying the um, the glue to the edge where I cut so that it stands better. So There's that. Now this is going to be the start over here, 
the end over here, so I am going to put my scarecrow over here. So I'm going to, like, the marble needs to get to the scarecrow. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Right here. And then I have my little corn pieces. I'm going to glue those around in different places. It's not a corn maze without corn. And so you can draw this on your construction paper if you want. And you can um, cut it out. Or um, if you have a mom with a Cricut, I actually um, just used a piece of construction paper and cut um, the corn out on the construction paper. Um, and it was a free template, just typed in corn into images and found it. And just made all sorts of small little pieces of corn. If you have any problems coming up with a maze design, you can always look up maze designs on um, online and just kind of mimic a pattern of what you see. But that's part of the engineering process. Come up with a maze design and see if you can solve it with just your pencil. So now you can't see until I put this to the side how cool it looks. Isn't that great? It's my maize maze. <laughs> anyway, so let's see. I'm going to put my marble in here. And I'm going to put my Oh, it's stuck to my glue! Oh. I won! <laughs> Have fun with this. I want to see how creative your designs are. Make sure you share your designs with your teacher. Um, this should be fun.